Hey guys, how's it going today? Today, we're gonna be setting up the Revenger X and getting it primed and ready to rock. First up, all we're gonna need to do is get it out of the box. In the box, you'll have your mod, your tank, an extra coil, extra glass, and inside this glass, you'll have extra O-rings and an adapter so that you can fit a smaller mouthpiece if you wish. On the other side of the box here, you'll have your charging cable and user manual if you wish to learn a bit more about the settings. For now though, we're gonna pop it away and get it started. First up, with any new coil, especially when you're starting off, you'll need to add a small amount of liquid in each of the holes provided on the inside of it and each of the little filling ports on the outside. Today, we're gonna to be using Strawberry Gorilla Custard, one of my personal favorites. As I said, a drop or two in each of the holes provided this will pretty much prevent you from getting a dry hit first up. After we've done this, we're gonna be adding the tank back onto the top and we can fill it as per usual by pushing the arrow here. You're of course welcome to fill the tank as much as you'd like. After doing so, make sure that the seal on the top is pushed back the entire way, otherwise the pressure inside the tank may cause liquid to come out of the air vents. After we've done this, we're gonna be adding our batteries to the mod. On the bottom of the mod here, there is a small little latch. Pull that up and pop your batteries in. This section here with the white on it is your insulator, which means that this is your positive. Like so. After you've done that, the device should activate. Pop your door back on. Connect your tank to the system. Like so. And it should prompt you with this. Is this a new coil or an old coil? Of course, this is brand new. So we're gonna be pushing the plus button. After doing so, you can set our power. I'd recommend something about 40 to 50 watts, but of course, however you wish to fit. If you're not sure on what to set it at, it will demonstrate what it would prefer to be run at on the actual coil. After starting off like this, clicking the button once will add a lock symbol to the top and we're ready to go. Of course, there's a few other things we can go through. For instance, unlocking the device, one, two, three, lock will go away and we have another little button down here on the bottom. This is your settings button. Clicking it once won't do anything. It'll prompt you with what to do properly. One, two, three, into the menu. As we can see here, there is quite a lot and more below. Starting off, the first three modes here are for different styles of vaping to start off with. So we have a high mode, a normal, and a soft. Pretty much, this means that whatever wattage you set the device to, will remain the same, but how it starts off will go a little bit harder, softer, or stay as you've set it. After this, we can scroll down. We have a curvature mode. This mode allows you to set how the device will function per second. Then we have different types of metals, stainless steel, nichrome, titanium, and some memory modes. Keep in mind, these metal modes here are only to be used if you're sure your coil is of that metal. Memory modes here allow you to set modes that you can come back to at any time, meaning you don't need to fiddle around with the device and ensure that it's back in the same mode. It'll remember it for you. Bypass is a mechanical mode. Mechanical mode means that it will remove the safety features of the device and allow you to fire with a direct battery output. Typically don't recommend you do this. Stick with one of the first three modes and everything will be happy. System set. In this mode, you can set the time, brightness, puff counter, smart mode. Smart mode is a mode that will enable the device to read what the coil is and set the wattage or temperature as it sees fit. And a screen timeout. Of course, if you wish to conserve some battery, it'll ensure that it will turn off within a few seconds to a minute. Vibration, if you don't wish to have that on. What version, to ensure that it is up to date with the most current software. 
restoring the device to default, and from here we can go exit. Of course, the normal mode is set for me, and my power is 48 watts. Of course, if I wish to go higher, my coil is rated to up to 100 watts currently. You can really play around and make the device your own. Something I forgot to mention is this section at the top. This is your airflow. The airflow will restrict or open up the air of the tank to make it warmer or more restrictive or more open and a bit cooler. On your screen here, you have what style of mode you're in, your battery indicator, your ohmage, and that will register the coil. So this is a 0.2 ohm coil. Of course, how long you breathe in or your puffs, 307, I had a good go on this one. And of course the voltage. You will not see anything on the voltage until you fire the device. From here, you're pretty much ready to go. Hope you enjoyed the building tutorial. Enjoy guys.